My name is Hugh Fraser and I played the Duke of Wellington. I was asked to go and meet with Tom Clegg, the director, and Mira Sutherland, one of the producers. Um, I'd worked with Tom before, in fact, so we knew each other. Um, and they explained that David Troughton, who played the Duke of Wellington in the first two Sharp films, uh, had joined the Royal Shakespeare Company and therefore was unavailable. And uh, we talked about the character and the series, and um, later I had a call from my agent to say that they wanted me to do it. Well, we, uh, when I joined, we were filming in the, in the Crimea, um, which is Ukraine. Uh, we then did some in Portugal and also in Turkey and then finally in India. Now, all the filming I did was on location. As far as I know, there wasn't anything in the studio, but I could be wrong. The Duke of Wellington, well, um, he was born of an Anglo-Irish, aristocratic Anglo-Irish family. Uh, he joined the army at the age of 18 and by the age of 34 had been promoted to Major General. Um, he led the British army uh, in the Peninsula campaign against Napoleon, uh, where he took part in 60 battles. Um, and it culminated, his career culminated with the defeat of Napoleon at Waterloo. He was an extremely talented soldier. Um, a great defensive commander. Uh, he was known to, uh, rather than staying with his generals, you know, and, and, and just sort of staying out of the action, he, he, he roamed around on his horse, seeing what was going on, and was known to turn up unexpectedly in places and, and observe, observe the battle, and so that his, he knew his strategy was, was as good as it could be. He was, a, he was a brilliant soldier, absolutely brilliant. And then, of course, he went on to become prime minister, uh, when he left the army later in life. It was great. We all got on very well. We socialised in the evenings. Um, there was, I don't remember any sort of tension or falling out or anything like that. It was a pleasure. They were, they were a, a, great, a great bunch of people. Yeah, crew, crew as well. The whole, the, whole, the whole experience was really, really good. Oh, indeed, yes, yes. Sean is uh, very, very good to work with. He's very professional. He's he, he's very well prepared always, um, and a very nice man. We worked together previously, not too long before, in a film called Patriot Games. Although we hadn't actually worked together, but we'd, we'd been there at the same time in Hollywood at the same time, uh, working on the film. So we knew each other slightly before we started. Um, so yes, he's he's excellent to work with. Well, I think it would be it would be Sean actually, because he's got. I mean, the way he played Sharp, he had this combination of a kind of sensitivity and vulnerability, but at the same time, he's incredibly tough. I mean, his, when he did the action sequences, I, I mean, these very very tough Russian stuntmen, you could see them sort of getting a little bit nervous before they went into it with, with Sean because he really commits physically and, and is absolutely bang on the moves with very little rehearsal. Um, so I, I've got an enormous admiration for him in that particular part and in other things he's done since. Recently, uh, the, the series, I think it was called Time, where he was in the prison. Um, I thought that was just brilliant, what he did in that. Well, it's funny, I mean, it's been a while since we did them. I, I find it difficult to remember the difference between them. I mean, it was all basically, you know, fighting Napoleon. Um, and, you know, we would go into battle and we would win. And there would be various, you know, politics going on between members of the army. But uh, to be honest, I can't actually, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you, relate a storyline to you at this point. <laughs> Funny enough, 
one memory that does stick in my mind is um, I mentioned the Russian stuntmen who were incredibly hard and really, really good at their jobs. Their riding was fantastic. I mean, my stunt double who did the, did the galloping, I could get up to a canter on the horse, but then that, that was it. And my, my stunt double really made me look good because <laughs> he, he could gallop and jump and all the, all the things required. Um, but uh, no, there was this. Uh, there was one uh, sort of battle sequence where there was there was a, a sort of collision between a couple of horses, and one of the stuntmen uh, fell fell off and uh, ended up on the ground, looking like he'd really kind of crushed the, crushed his arm. And um, he got up, and you know, obviously they cut, and, and uh, people got up and got back on their horses, and he. He was he was clearly in pain, but he got back on his horse, and and they said, you know, do you want to do you want to st step out? He said, no, 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 and he carried on. Um, and the next morning, I, I saw him come in, and his whole forearm and hand were swollen to about four times their normal size. I mean, it was enormous, and. Uh, Blow me if he didn't just get on his horse and carry on. He he kind of pulled his jacket down over his over the over the hand and, and hid it in his side. And I thought, wow, you know that is really. Anyone else would have taken three weeks in hospital for that, but he just carried on regardless. They they were incredibly tough and and, and really nice. I only wish I could have spoke Russian to be able to talk to them, but of course there was no communication. Yes, indeed. Um, <clears throat> Jason Salkey uh, is a friend, Hugh Ross, I see a lot of. Incidentally, if you want anecdotes and you want stories about Sharp, the, the, the definitive work on this is Jason Salkey's book uh, with, from Crimea with Love, uh, which is an incredibly honest account of, of his journey through Sharp. He played one of the chosen men. And it is an absolutely riveting read. Uh, if, 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 I mean, if you're anything you want to know about Sharp, read his book, read Jason's book, because it is, it is a superb read, and also is an incredibly honest account of what went on. No, only really that it was a really pleasurable experience. It was, it was quite adventurous, you know, it was going to places i have never been to the Ukraine before. Uh, it was the first time I've been to India, although I've been since. Um, and so it was incredibly interesting as an experience. The filming itself was, was very, very enjoyable. And a lot of action, a lot of stuff outside. Um, the director, Tom Clegg, I've got in, unfortunately he's passed away, but uh, uh, he, was a, he was a superb director. He, 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 his attention to detail was fantastic. You, you, could, you, you could be sure that, that all the continuity and all, all of that stuff, you didn't have to think about it. Um, because Tom had it all in hand, and he was incredibly encouraging and appreciative of, of, of his actors. And so it was a thoroughly enjoyable experience. And I, I've got a great respect for the final films. I think they're very, very good indeed. And of course, uh, Sean is, is, as I was saying earlier, excellent in the part. No, gel wasn't necessary. Uh, it was hot. It was hot, particularly in, in India, very, very hot. Um, interestingly, talking of makeup, um, as Wellington, I wore an extra bit of nose uh, to because he had a very he had a, bit, a hook nose, and um, that was a source of some um, uh, uh, well, stories <laughs> attached to that. Each time, at the end of each 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 series, um, I would say, please make sure you don't lose the nose because you know it fitted it looked good the makeup was worked with it and each time we came back to do it again the nose had disappeared <laughs> and so i had to be get have a new nose made each time which was something of a bore and i'm sure you know the, i just hope it looks the same in each in each uh, in each film It's been a pleasure. Thank you.